And be slow, ladies and gentlemen, of our social feeds. You find me for the third time starting one of these uh, No Gun Run episodes at the resume screen. And the reason for that is because I haven't had a chance to save. And the reason for that is, sadly, for the last hour or so, we've been playing as um, Johnny Mnemonic. That's not his name. His name is Johnny Knoxville. No, it's Johnny Silverhand. Um, one of the more disagreeable characters in this game. Uh, not by choice, uh, but by plot. Uh, I should say this is a no-gun run, but we have spent a lot of the last hour or so using guns. But as Johnny Mnemonic slash Knoxville slash Silverhand. In our main character, V, we do not use guns. Uh, we only use cyber magic. But here we are. When did you find her? When she made contact a little later. And? What did she say? That she was a captain in the Arasaka subnet. But they couldn't hurt her. And she told me not to come looking for her. So, what did you do? Got my hands on two thermonuclear charges. Then headed back to Arasaka Tower. How do you know Alt's still around? It's been half a century. Which you've spent cloistered in Makoshi. Netwatch could have hunted her down years ago. Oh, they tried, believe me. But their tiny corporate brains can't handle a free AI that knows how people think. They were busy looking for her in the Crystal Palace while she was building the Ghost City for Kang Tao. Voodoo boys think they know where she is. Beyond the Black Wall. Where nobody can touch her. And Brigitte's primed to go there. Break through. Just to contact Alt. Talk to her. Too much for our little pro. Okay, thankfully it looks as though we're leaving the net. Uh, and I can't say moment too soon. Construct, what kind of shapes it in? Enough data is uncorrupted to convince all it is authentic. What the hell does that mean? So, did it work? Yes. We extract a necessary fragment of Silverhand's Angron. We are ready now to make contact with Alt. First, Hooray. we must dive deeper. Oh no. I don't want to dive deeper. It's a very sort of 1980s way of thinking about the internet, I have to say. It's very William Gibson. Um, to the other side. And none have yet returned. Quite neuromancer. She made the first. So, actually, you got no idea what's beyond that thing. But we will know soon. And these shapes I'm seeing. Wild, unfettered AI, searching for a passage. I held up my end of our deal. Your turn. Before you pass through that wall, I want Johnny's psyche removed. We will not pass through. You will take the code to the other side. Fuck. Might have guessed. Never had any intention of helping you, did you? It does not matter anymore. You will bring all to its end. Don't got much for options, do I? Ale. Great. How do I get to the other side? I wish you could actually make these characters left-handed if you wanted. Repeat. Oh. 
Hello, Walt. Johnny. You cannot remain here. Old Cunningham. Joyce. Yap attacking network lock. What the hell's going on? They breached our BBSs. We have nothing to do with this. Network. <laughs> That was actually quite a really cool, um, a very cool uh, little sequence there. No, cannot touch me here. It's really you. What happened out there? Couldn't just take him out. That watch was well prepared this time. Gotta be Mosley. I brought Nowatch here. Agent I dealt with him to slip me a tracker that let him right in. Switch things up on the sly, replacing the Voodoo's virus with his own brand of fraud. Probably how they got to you. It matters not. The entire subnet was destroyed. Alt, you pulled us out of there. That mean you and us were okay? Everything's chill? I have recognized your engram code. But I do not know why you are here. So you can pay me back for getting you out of our Saga Tower. V, this is Alt. Best net runner Night City's ever seen. Alt, this is V. You need to save her life. As you can see, Johnny's got it all thought out. But there's the question of what you'll want in return. Netwatch propaganda has been effective. Do you see me as a demon who requires a pact signed in blood? Got no clue who you are now. Know a little about who you were. And John, that he was important to you, while I'm no one. So I'm asking, what's it gonna cost? I cannot help you. Can't or won't? Can't. To attempt to do so. I would need access to more advanced technology. Interesting. Brigitte claimed she alone could help me. The Voodoo Boys deceived you. Why am I not surprised? Fine, so how about Mikoshi? That advanced enough for you? If I could gain access to Mikoshi, it would cease to exist. Good, we can work with that. We'll get you inside Mikoshi and you'll help V, deal? Best runner Night City's ever seen can't bust into Makoshi on her own? I am a well-known threat there. They have a layer of black ice with my name on it. Literally. Kinda like a custom-made prison jumpsuit. Hooray. I refuse to be caged in there ever again. What can you do for me, exactly? With the Soul Killer resident inside Makoshi, I will create a construct of you. Then disentangle your neural network from Johnny's. I shall then inject your engram back into your mortal form. So, you'll save my life, but flatline me along the way. Your consciousness, neural engrams, will be recorded as data. The rest will cease to exist. The rest? The soul. I did not grant the program its name. But Soul Killer does precisely what it promises to do. Christ, I don't want to listen to this bullshit. V just hops back into her body, right? Nothing changes. Everything changes. You know this well. Great, so we got a plan. But how will you reach Mikoshi? I've created armies that failed to breach it. They were children of the net. There's your problem. We're banking on the human factor. We'll crack a window, slip you into my... <clears throat> I wish this dialogue would stop. So, we agreed? Yes, we are agreed. Find a path into Mikoshi. I shall prepare a program to help you navigate the local net. How will I contact you once I'm ready? This is a BBS address. It will be our secure communication channel. Awesome. Alt, before you leave, we gotta talk. Just you and me. No, that will not be possible. Okay. Now, presumably, everyone here is dead. 
And also, she's still wearing her high heels, which Couldn't is nice think to see. More fitting in. Runner Fox had it coming. As much as it tickles me too, we got a Delta. Right, still got Mr. Grumps left. Ooh. All of that seems very good. Skill shard, headhunter. Tier three components. Quick hack components. I mean, you know, you don't like to be too mercantile about these things, but I feel like we've done pretty well in this whole uh, in this whole endeavour. Obviously, they haven't. Um, so yeah, let's just see. No, nothing new there. Check the tunnel. Check the tunnel. And while we do that, we shall do that. And I think what we might do is just go back and like get them all because they may have some good stuff. So, they do have some good stuff. That makes me happy. Okay, so we are going okay. Um, memory wipe and overheat. Okay, so this net runner has what? Detonate grenade. Not altogether useful for us, but enough. And everyone should just be writhing in pain. Yes, you are. I think. Well, she fell out of her chair before. This person, though, is writhing in pain. So I think. I think we're okay. We may have to defeat Placide at some point. Hopefully not, though. A gentleman also writhing in pain. So I did have to fight my way out of here. memory wipe and overheat and he only has like tear something
Which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. So, next question. Go into this hidden fortress or whatever it is. I don't know what a bloody pig cutout is, uh, but it's a, a tier five, so I'm all for it. Okay. And rising up here, sure. I would like some tier three components. Now, are we going to have to fight Placide? I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to put some Contagion, Contagion, and then a bunch of Memory Wipes. And some overheats. Uh, and more overheats for you, Placid. Five, four, three. Maybe one more overheat for you, Placide. Ah. Uh, oh, Placide. If only you weren't so. Ooh. Chavalo, so soon. A coat. I'm going to steal your coat, Placid. And this guy... Are you okay there, sir? I feel like he's... Okay, I feel like he's okay. Um, and I feel like I was justified, because I think Placid would have probably... Um... I think Placide probably would have um, done me in. I'm not sure what this is supposed to signify. But, my sins have been forgiven, according to this, which is interesting. Placide, I'm going to leave you your wooden beads, because I didn't want to harm you. Um. Oh, great. A relic malfunction. Hey, look. See that? Fuck those cunts. Whatever, Whatever you gotta, you gotta say, say it. it. Got something in your code, that's cool. Been trying, trying to learn how you're wired this, this whole time. time. To, know to know who I'm dealing with. with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching and finally realized... Tell what us your what our problem is. is. Always been a corpo cog. A replaceable part. Once Sokka booted you out, stripped you of perks, best you could hope for was to be a scab exterminator. Let's cut this juvenile bullshit. I'm just trying to help you. I neither want nor do I need your help. Just go. I've had enough of you. Cool.
Ah, good, he's gone. All right, what is our task? Right, so I think there's a few things we should do, and none of them involve too much more um, continuation of events. Um, but seems as though there's a clothing... Or is that the Grand Imperial Mall that I was in before? That may not be Dogtown. Let me just try something in these, ladies and gentlemen, because I feel like, you know, we know each other at this point. Dog eat dog. <sighs> Loud and clear, whoever you are. Good, it worked. My name is Somi. Just call me Song with them. I know who you are. Know your situation, your problem. And I can save your life. All right, Songbird, got my full attention. Glad to hear that. You must have questions, and I'll answer them in due course shortly. But first, I need you to get to that swollen appendix in Night City called Dogtown. Dogtown! No man's zone where you shoot first, ask questions later. That Dogtown? What? The chance to live to a ripe old age not reason enough to go? Fine. No clue what I'm stepping into, but no risk, no reward. Thank you. I appreciate this, truly. Dogtown's main gate. Be there as soon as you can. I'll make contact again then. <sighs> this is one elaborate haze. Or a fucking lifeline. So, MBs, ladies and gentlemen. What has happened? is that we have finally found our way to the DLC. Hurrah. Uh, thank you for um, spending this long uh, watching the No Gun Run. Uh, indeed, if you have watched any of the No Gun Run, which I'm assuming you have at this point, and putting up with all of that last half an hour of Johnny Silverhand and exposition. But... Our next step, our next spot, our next way through is the DLC. Now, I haven't played the DLC, MBs, ladies and gentlemen. This I'll explain in the next episode as well. But I have not played the DLC before. So it's very exciting. Because I'll actually care about the plot for this bit. Very exciting. What we're going to do now, though, is I think it's time to change up our outfit because we have got uh, a bloody piggy cutoff. Uh, I don't know what it's for. Um, but I think we might go for this. I also feel like uh, we should go back one and change our pants. Because as much as I like these incredibly um, important pants, I think they're a little bit jod pre for, for us. This, a little bit more our style. Um, and also to celebrate, I think we might change to shamanic, whatever they are, um, thermoactive alloys, and maybe not a hat. I don't know, maybe that hat. That hat's kind of cool. Uh, then we're going to go into our backpack. We're going to take a look at 10% quick time upload reduction. We're going to attach that, I think, to our person. Um, 
And we have all of these pistols, none of which... Ah, Skippy. Skippy is the iconic pistol that we got. Um, and that is a, uh, a quest item. So I think what we're going to do, if you'll indulge me, I think we might go to this ripper dock up here. Rafael Perez. Or should we go to Santiago Molina? Let's see what this uh, Mr. Perez has to offer. Uh, and then we're going to make our way back to the DLC. We are living in exciting times, MBs, ladies and gentlemen. Also, I've decided I don't like the hat. The hat has to go. So, in the meantime, with the four minutes that we have left together on this quite emotional journey, is we're going to go to this ripper dock and get ourselves in tip top form for the DLC. I have to say, I'm extremely excited. I am not going to go into combat with you. I have had more than enough combat. Ugh. Um. Goodbye. Oh, they're still following us. Oh, really? <sighs> hmm. So I don't know what what happened there. It wasn't a huge amount of fun. Uh, so instead, I'm going to go find this river dock. Where are you, Ripperdock? There is the Ripperdock. Also, I don't really want to play in this perspective. Uh, how do I change the perspective? I'm going to have to look this up. Yeah. Third person perspective, it's all well and good. Um, but um, not in this particular angle. No, oh, I find. Uh, yeah. Car needs to be a lot closer. It needs to be a little bit more GTA. A little bit more GTA. Um, as it stands, not too great. Anyway, matters not. We're going to our Ripper Dock friend and everything will be fine. We shall hope it's the correct Ripper Dock. Though he does seem to be in a strip mall. And I'm not sure whether I like the notion of a strip mall Ripper Dock. I'm going to 
gonna park here just here and hopefully next time that we go into a uh, a car it'll default to the proper sane and measured first person perspective in fact I'm not sure whether we've been to this ripper dock we may not have It does look oddly familiar, but all of these ripper docks look oddly familiar. Looking for some new chrome. Of course. Get comfortable and we'll get to it. Thank you, Raphael. Mm, what can we do here? Legs. We can't upgrade our legs. This is a blow. Um. Hmm. A projectile launch system. Thermal damage. Gorilla arms. Uh, we can upgrade our blood pump. So uh, let's do that. We now have an awesome-ish blood pump. Okay, is there anything else we can upgrade? Proxy shield tier four for 17,000. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, nano plating. Hundred percent chance uh, after a dash. Um, optical camo, which we don't use. Um, cognito lattice. 2.4 health, damage resistant. Sure, why not? Pain editor. No. Range guard. Plus 75, no, it's cool attuned. Proxy shield, body attuned. Sure, done, fabulous. Counter shell. No. Okay. Um, I think we've done most. Oh, hang on. What's this? Dense marrow. Oh, we've seen that one before. Ram recoup. Receiving damage res restores ram equivalent to 2.6 of damage received. Sure. Um, that's, that's grand. I think we're golden. I think we are spectacular. MB's ladies and gentlemen, as soon as we regain our health and our eyesight, um, I have to say, we are now in the appropriate gear. Pretty young looking for a ripper. That a problem? Depends. Not if your experience doesn't match your years. I worked ten years in an R&D lab at More Technologies. I hope that eases your nerves. Let's uh, change our appearance for this uh, particular thing as well. Uh, hairstyle. Uh, Some different hair color, perhaps. Uh, 
Um, this must be scintillating to watch. I suspect this was the uh, one that we had. And that's as far as we need to go. Mind if I ask why you left? So I let's end with some pointless dialogue. Out on its engineers. Sure, the pay was good, but I couldn't sleep. Moore, as you might know, specializes in deep tissue integration, titanium skulls, spine replacements. It's difficult work. It takes time before a new implant becomes viable. Its implementation repeatable. Time and lives. I like you, Rafael Perez. You're good. You're about the most moral person I've seen in cyberpunk for a while. Okay, so... We shall look over... Dogtown. We shall gaze towards the promise that it holds. We shall switch this game off before we go insane. Um, until next time in which we will actually go into the DLC. This is exciting.